if you are a ruling number or a life path number five, it's the same thing, a different name, um, then this is for you. Um, you come in the middle of the chart. Let me see. So you are right here in the thick of it all. So you're the center. Um, so this will really tie into some of the things I have to say about the five um, and that you guys, again, like a four and a six are in the middle column. So it's less about um, starting and finishing, more about being in the thick of it. Um, it's more about um, deciding which direction to go. So you're, you're going to be presented with a lot of choices in your life. Um, but when I was reading about the fives, it was really kind of talking about um, how they, obviously they're the artists. Um, Leo is the fifth sign, but since this is on, on the feeling plane, um, the middle water sign would be Scorpio. So I think we would see a lot of Scorpio energy if you are ruling five or, you know, life path five, same thing. Um, so look at that, um, but they are very, very creative. Scorpios have Leo in the 10th house of career. So most, a lot of actors out there are, are Scorpios, a lot of artists, because they, similar to Leo, have so much uh, passion and fire inside of them that they have to express. Um, so water signs do that, but it's a little... It's a little less restrained. It's just sometimes it can be chaotic. Whereas a fire sign, it's more kind of to serve a purpose. Um, and um, so we can definitely see artists with Scorpio. Um, a lot of them have like tattoos on their bodies and stuff. Um, but uh, what was I saying about the five? So they will be um, creators, artists, entrepreneurs. Um, you know, lots of limelight, obviously, when you get those kind of um, careers and professions. Um, so they could definitely be in the spotlight. The fives get a lot of attention, as does Leo. Um, you know, but this isn't really necessarily a leader um, position because we're talking about the emotional plane. Um, so this isn't really fire. This is more so water. So these people are going to be very in touch with their feelings and their emotions. Um, what they do with them is up to them, but they could go either way because being in the middle, you have a choice. You know what I mean? So um, that's what we're going to see here with the Scorpios. Some Scorpios can do have a penchant for destruction because they can't handle the intense, um, you know, emotion, chaos, vulnerability that they have. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of times that leads them to making poor decisions, um, you know, being a little more uh, vengeful, calculating, um, because I think they're so, they just feel so out of control, you know, of the world, like they just don't understand it because tying back to like what I was talking about with the cancers, water's just aren't meant for this world like it's just not their natural forte you know they come something higher something more subconscious something a little less defined and so when they have to be told to obey society's norms and standards they rebel because it's just it's not um, something that's within them it's really hard for them to put themselves in a box or um, you know regulate themselves or you know um, they come opposite earth with which Earth is order, it's structure, it's routine, um, you know, it's it's diligence, all those things that they're opposite of. So we see a lot of chaos with water signs. Um, not to say that every water sign out there um, just doesn't know how to live a normal life, because it's quite the contrary. I'm just saying the the what Scorpio represents is is all of that destructive qualities because they have the death card in tarot so um, it's really about shedding your skin time and time again so you can kind of regenerate um, you know like the Phoenix and be born again and so you can you know start over really turn over a new leaf time and time again so there's a lot a lot that can be achieved with a ruling number five or Scorpio um, lots of rebirth so they were also saying with the fives, um, you know, they are, they have a penchant for rebellion. Um, you know, they may even like 
disobey society standards. Like there was an example in the book I was reading, um, and it was like um, they may go, they may start a job, and then quickly find out that they don't like to have to obey a boss's orders or demands. And so they take unemployment as, as, a, uh, as a way to, to not have to do that. So you have to be careful to not take shortcuts because you're only going to harm yourself karmically once time passes. You know, you still have to do the right thing as hard as it can be. Just look at these things as lessons for you guys um, to learn from. So yes, it can be challenging. I understand we all have our challenges, but that doesn't mean that shortcuts um, should be... Uh, taken, you know. Okay, so, <laughs> yep, King of Wands reversed. So it's harder to see with these cards because with like the holographic and the way they're colored. I'm going to hold him upright. This is the card I draw a lot. Um, this is typically a fire sign or um, like a Leo. It has the lion in the back. Um, so with the King of Wands, we are in control of it all. You know, like Aries is fire and Aries is the emperor archetype and the kings are all sub archetypes of the emperor. And the fire is the natural element for um, the male, um, you know, the ruler, the father. So he really reigns supreme. He's the the one true king. Um, and the what he resides over is your will, um, your honor, your duty, your um, integrity, um, and he's a leader. You know, he's a very big leader. So whether it's in war or not, we don't see swords with fire. We see wands, but in some of the wands, we do see disagreements and stuff. So um, he could be um, military, um, but really he is artistic at the same time. I mean, look how lavish he is, like all the different colors he has. Um, even his shoes are shiny, you know, that crown. It's just, um, he, and what the kind of the most important symbolism with the wands that I've noticed is the, the growth along the wand. Um, so the wand is a very, um, even though it's supposed to be magical, um, or if it's a staff, depending on what you call it, there is growth to be had. So fire signs are all about improvement. They're all about improving themselves, going on a journey, getting better and better all the time. And we, um, I think a lot of water signs resist that energy. Um, they, they kind of feel like, well, I don't, I don't, I didn't even want to be here in the first place. And you're going to ask me to, to start trying to better myself. Like, how dare you? So there's the Scorpio resistance, um, and that's maybe why we got it reversed. And now with this power, with this power, with this knowledge, with this creativity, like we were talking about, um, we can we can use it for bad when it's reversed. You know, we can use our position to do the wrong thing. Um, this is kind of like the the seven of wands um, in reverse you know, where he's standing on the hill and he has a higher position, even though there are forces that are trying to take him down. But that's reversed. That means that you you aren't doing the right thing. You've taken the wrong side and you're kind of abusing your position. Um, you know, and, and, and people are trying to tell you, but you're not listening. So with that reversal king of wands, I think that we don't hold ourselves accountable. Um, we'd rather just reside over others and kind of, um, yeah. And I think this really ties into the stuff that the five was talking about in the book. Um, they're not doing it for a leadership purpose. It's just art and creativity. But if they get to a position of power of, um, of responsibility, they may not be well suited to handle that if they themselves cannot, um, apply those same laws to their own life. Like maybe Donald Trump is a five. Um, but, you know, so that's that's kind of what that's trying to say in reversal. So, but you, you know, you may know, um, you may get some fire, fire energy um, if you have some fire in your five. So let's see what else we have for life path five.
hope you guys are enjoying these videos thus far. Um, I just idea after idea. I, I think I'm working on a background currently, so stay tuned for that. Get rid of this drab like apartment color that I have. Um, slow steps. <laughs> But I was really excited to get this deck because it's just like, it's very, very similar. Some cards are almost identical, or most of them are identical to the regular Rider Waite deck, but there are minute changes, the coloration's different, the holographic. Um, but yeah, I like it. I just don't know if I'm going to use this one on a daily because I don't want the... the, the holographic stuff to kind of wear out so, so fast, because hopefully... They're, they're made well and they don't. Time will tell. Let's see, Life Path 5. What else we got? Hmm. Life Path 5. Okay, you know what, I am going to talk about this card, because um, it's at the bottom of the deck, and it just kind of caught my eye, so Eight of Cups, so Eight um, obviously is a month of Leo, so like I said, we may see some fire energy with the Fives, but typically we're referring to Scorpio. Um, Scorpio is the eighth sign of the Zodiac, so there we go, um, and this is also Cups, which is water, so That'll be a natural symbol that we'll find in tarot for the uh, the feeling signs or the feeling numbers. Um, so eight, we are we are um, kind of running away. Um, you can't tell the depiction so much in this one as opposed to the regular deck. The regular deck, it's really black and it looks very eerie um, and ominous. And so here, it doesn't look quite so gloomy, but the figure is turned away from the the card. Um, and the water, the cups, it always represents emotion, so it's never easy um, unless there's like a bright rainbow or something and it's prosperous. Um, and the mountains in the background. So the mountains represent a very tough journey ahead. Um, maybe when we're talking about the fives, it seems like they do have hard lives because they just aren't willing to submit to um, kind of obeying or being normal in society or doing what's expected. Um, so they have a tendency to make things harder for themselves and they probably get to a point to where they do have to move on um, you know, to another location or something because they've dug themselves a hole. Um, you know, they, they've, um, they have to escape a situation um, you know, or maybe they've done something illegal and they need to run. Um, that's kind of what this is, and so this is hard goodbyes, this is escaping in the night. Um, this is, um, yeah, it's like kind of running away. So we have a penchant maybe to not deal with our problems or not deal with them in a healthy way. We'd rather just run. Um, but yeah, it was talking about the five moves a lot. Like um, you'll find yourself moving to different places a lot, like kind of starting over again and again, um, just trying to find more experience more life, more wisdom. Um, so it may be a healthy thing that you can kind of start again. And I think this is talking about the Scorpio regenerative process, that rebirth. So every place you go, you kind of start over. You put on a new new skin, um, gives you a new opportunity. So, but yeah, it's a lot of emotion, lots of cups. Um, and it just, like, again, I said that mountain's not easy to climb, so um, whatever your goal or your challenge is, uh, is always going to be one that, that does require a lot of perseverance, has a lot of obstacles, so I guess we can see kind of why we're tempted to make shortcuts, but still, it doesn't matter the situation, shortcut um, can fuck up your karma, so... see what else we have. Life Path 5. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, okay. I will take this. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I just got a bunch, so I don't know if I'm going to talk about all these, but we did get the the Leo card, the strength card, right when we were um, talking about, God, this it's reverse image and I never get the hang of it, um, right when we were talking about the Leo and the Eight and the King of Wands, so there may very well be a lot of Leos out there with a personal life number five or a life path number five. Um, with the four, we'll talk about this one first, because this is the first one I noticed. Um, four of Pentacles, we can get kind of greedy here. We can start holding on to things, and we see that with water signs, because, like, again, I, I said that they feel so out of control. Um, they feel like they just can't operate in the way that society wants them to. Um whether they may be seemingly good at it, but there will be times where it does present itself. Um, and this is really like, okay, so I just learned how to do something that society expected and I got rewarded for it. And, ooh, I kind of like this. So we start doing it to a degree that's unhealthy and we start to hoard. We start to get a little greedy, money hungry, um, and we, it kind of distracts us or it, um, yeah, it deters like our power, you know, balance is necessary in everything in life. And it looks like he's not sharing. Um, he's holding on to this stuff for his own personal gain. Um, and it's like the coin above the head kind of shows that, um, we are like, we're money conscious, you know, we are, we are doing things deliberately to earn more. So are we doing it for the right reasons? Are we getting a little greedy? Um, you know, I think, I think it's as simple as that with that card. And the four is a, um, an earth plane card too. So the Virgo, but, um, Virgo is a very charitable sign. Um, I think it's just more so talking about the earth pinnacle energy, but yeah, so, um, strength. So we do have strength. It has shown up for a reason. Um, so if we are, are if, if we're abusing our power time and time again, um, we're not, we're not realizing our own strength or we're not realizing the hurt that it can cause. Um, we're not holding ourselves accountable, um, but we we have that we all have that inner beast. Um, for the fives, it may roar a lot louder, um, but just remember that sometimes compassion is the best medicine um, for your enemies or for your own self that's willing to sabotage it. Um, to show love or care can sometimes be much stronger than any other. Um, personality kind of attribute, you know, uh, love works a lot better than fear. And so I think um, with water, we do find that they, they can abuse fear and instill fear in people to get things done. And I think that's why we got the king in reverse. Um, but you, it'll only get you so far. It'll only get you so far. It may work for a little bit of time, but eventually it'll come back to you because, again, we are fucking up our karma when we do something that's un uncoming, unbecoming of us. So remember, um, maybe try a little love. Try a different approach. Um, see where that gets you because the maiden's deeds, the maiden's care and love... Um, gives her that infinity symbol. So like her things will live on um, because she tamed the beast, um, not with power versus power, but it was love. You know what I mean? So it's strength, it's courage, um, you know, to to challenge something that is, is very powerful, um, but can be very um, untamed, you know? I think we see that with the fives. So it's very scary to do, but as long as your intentions are pure and, um, yeah, and you know you're doing the right thing, you're sure of it, um, I think you can be victorious. So, yeah, lots of eight energy, Leo, Scorpio, 
Um, let's see what else do we have. One more. Do we have five cards for the five life path number? Let's see. Path number five. Number five. If you guys have not determined what your life path number or your ruling number is, um, what are you waiting for? <laughs> um, just watch my other two videos on intro to numerology. Um, there's a part one and a part two, and it gives you like a brief understanding of numerology and how to find out your own chart and things so it's kind of how I got started um, and yeah it's not something that I really I seek for. okay so I guess I was talking about Virgo for a reason um, so we have the hermit card so I kind of have to stop my train of thought here um, but it's like I was saying it's not really something that um, I go really really in depth and I start studying the history and everything it's not like with tarot where I'm doing it constantly but a basic foundation for numerology really really helps tie this stuff together because um, the numbers are very significant in tarot um, and also astrology so they all like combine for me personally and like this this way that um, it just opens more doors for me when you start learning about more about one you can see the crossover and and understand why things are a little more because they it's just there's not just one school of thought there's many and um yeah so it's just like if you're open to it you know explore numerology explore i don't know palmistry is another one i don't know too much about i have a set of runes i have um, you know, crystals, I have like all this stuff that kind of encapsulates metaphysics. Um, and it, it just, it helps. It really does. It's just a more, more understanding. You can never have enough. So the hermit card, um, not too surprised about this. Um, when we're looking at this card, you know, that's very hermit. There's a mountain in there. Um, you're going away on your own. Um, because of the emotions, um, the demands put on you that maybe you just can't handle, uh, maybe we're running away. So, but Virgo, I think, is doing it for the right reasons, is doing it for a spiritual growth and development. Um, and I think we're talking more so about the loneliness. So, if you guys never feel like you're truly, um, a part of things or if you you just feel like it's always just going to be yourself and your feelings um, it, it may be true but you guys have a purpose and the purpose is what you can create with your passion you know with your ferocity um, what you can what you can achieve with that and putting it to good use so um, the arts are a great endeavor for fives and something that most fives are going to find themselves doing um, but it's just important to to see that you guys come at the center of everything and so um, you have four other numbers that come before you so you know the further you get along in the nu numerology just like with zodiac um, you you would take on more of that personality that came before you it keeps adding so by the time we get to the last number um, by the time we get to the last sign, like Pisces, we are, we've achieved kind of everything and we can kind of go forth or, you know, be something a little higher, um, more psychic, more spiritual, you know, in nature. Um, and so here we're still in the middle of it, you know, Virgo's right in the middle, um, even though it has the nine, um, the nine is about the personal growth and expansion. So even though they come in the middle, they do see the importance of finding yourself and developing with that light, that lantern to guide them. So things may look very bleak in your life again and again, but it's all there for a reason. Um, 
and those challenges are going to be very challenging for sure. I mean, we've got mountains, we've got mountains again, we've got a lion, and how hard is that to tame? But it's all about having that clarity, that light, that um, insight to know how to approach situations and to know what the right thing is um, because um, artists can get kind of that, or celebrities even, you know, can kind of get in that mode that it, they aren't really held to society's norms anymore and so they can kind of act out or do whatever but there's still consequences um, especially in this day and age people are going to call you out for it um, you know social media is just like the the gateway to prosecution now you know it's like one person sees it and then it blows up so um, they're not I'm, I'm glad to see that um, celebrities aren't really um, they're not really excused like they were previously. I would love to start seeing that more with like big corporate CEOs and stuff. But this morning I did see that um, Elon Musk got uh, heavily, heavily fined for a tweet that um, that came out. And um, anyways, before going into that, so I'm glad to see like people in power are being held more accountable. Um, I do think that there's still so much abuse. Obviously, the presidency and all that, um, you know, there's always going to be people that know how to work the system. And um, like I said, that king of wands in reverse, we don't want to We don't want to be the next Trump. Um, we probably see him more with the emperor card, but king of wands can, can achieve a lot too. Um, but the hermit... Yeah, the hermit means they're very isolated. So, um, you know, the isolated artist archetype, um, you know, just just be able to bring out that, that sense that you can create, but just don't let it destroy you or the world around you. Um, try to find that balance. If that means that you have to constantly move in search of something, that's okay. That's okay. But just try not to leave things in a bad note all the time. You know, with that eight of cups, like, um, it's like maybe you didn't, you didn't get closure. You didn't get, um, you didn't do, you didn't say your goodbyes, you know? So like you, um, you, you don't want to leave a bad taste in people's mouths. So, um, but the hermit has bigger purposes, higher purposes, and I, I think we see that here. Um, so lots of, lots of big things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I want to stick to like just under 30 or right at 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to cut it off for here. Um, message me, comment if you have any questions or are still unsure. Um, yeah, so stay